Hello, my beautiful people out there. This is Dr. Destiny. I am back with the self-esteem series. Today, I am up to series five. The topic is short nuggets on what you need to know about self-esteem. They are on the short shelves, some on the long shelves with the long videos. Just check them out, please. And I thank those that have checked them out. Making this short, so let's get started with series five. Some common effects of low self-esteem. Number one, lack of self-confidence. People with low self-esteem often have little confidence in their abilities, their skills, their talents. They may think they are doomed to fail again because they have fallen so many times has missed the mark so they're afraid that they won't make it so that's why they lose confidence within themselves number two poor performance lack of self-confidence it may result in making little or no effort at all to war realizing that you actually can do this that you can achieve your goals but failures that result from a lack of effort is not a true reflection of a person's abilities. <laughs> number three, this number three, distorted views of self and others. Some people won't give themselves credit. And I know a lot of people, when you give them compliments and you you see such a gift and such a talent in them, they just find it hard to receive it for themselves. They think that when, when they can yield to someone say, hey, you're awesome, you're dynamic, you're great, that, that they're thinking that they're boasting within themselves. No, you accept your achievements, celebrate your wins. But some people won't give themselves credit for their achievements, for their accomplishments. These people may think others look better in comparison. They may also believe that things just happen to them. Not that they have put the forth the work and the effort to achieve those things. It just happened. So, they don't make them happen, though. They don't think they're making these happen, but they are making them happen. They actually really don't give themselves credit for it. Number four, unhappy personal life. Negative people aren't fun to be around. I'm telling you, I hate being around a negative person. My people, I'm telling you, I am such a positive person. And I live in a positive environment. And I just walk around all the time, man. I just like to talk to people and cheer people on. I talk to strangers. I'm no, I'm no stranger to anyone. I'm always trying to be happy. And I like to see other people happy. But. Another common effect of low self-esteem, the last one is unhappy personal life. Negative people, those negative energy vampires that suck the hell out of you and your life, you don't need them around you. You don't need ticks hanging on you, sucking your blood, people. They are unhappy. Misery loves company. Don't let nobody suck on your life to drain your energy or your personality. Unhappy people... These are negative people, and they aren't fun to be around at all. People with low self-esteem, they find it so hard to develop close relationships, to get involved with people, to be around people, and just be in a place of joy and contentment and with peace with, them, with themselves. The result may be because of lonesome or unhappy personal life, so they just don't know how to live in other life than what they are lived already. That was number four. One, lack of self-confidence. Two, poor performance. Three, distorted views of self and others. And number five, unhappy personal life. This is the final words. But the cycle can be broken, people. Say it with me. The cycle, Dr. Destiny, it can be broken by taking positive steps to raise your self-esteem. This is Series 5. I'll catch you at another series at another time. It will be Series 6 coming out. We're moving on through this book. And this is 
Short nuggets on what you should know about self-esteem. Catch the videos that some fell on the short shelf and others fell with the regular long videos. Catch it in Series 5, next one coming up. Bye, lovely people.